Item grab bag one, harvest one, and silver spoon, guys. Our portal is golden finale, not the most exciting one. Keep it a buck fifty. Reroll this, reroll this. These are all good options. Do we want to play aggressive? We need one Ari, and we'll have Fated. One Ari will have Fated. Mm. Help us on the way. I think I'll take Silver Spoon. I did not get an Ari. That is a little bit upsetting, isn't it? Never a dull moment. I think we just play this. The question is, what do we do with our items, man? Do we just go Ginsu's? Sure. Sure, guys. Okay. Not the worst start. This guy has fated, but he has no item slammed. We will obliterate him. That's good. We have a decent start here. Nothing too crazy. But nothing bad either. As soon as we get an Aphelios, we'll have a Ginsu's Aphelios with fated start. That would be great, wouldn't it, guys? That would be a great position to be in. Could have also gone Titans here and played towards Yone. Might have been the better decision, not sure. I got the Faded units, but the wrong ones. Uh, we have some Bruiser action. We could play Bruiser. We could play Bruiser instead of this Kindred. I feel like I lose too much frontline. Death is not Isn't it just this? Release. I mean, I lose too much, uh, what's it called? Damage. Alright, let's do this. Decent early game. I want to pick up this Kindred. He has Yone already. With a Hodge. He's hard forcing Yone reroll. Currently the most broken comp, or one of them. gonna do really well. Can we kill the Yone? I think we can. It's a one star with only Hodge. Yeah, easy peasy. There we go. We have some decent stuff on our bench. Oh, encounter. Grants you a death blade and a death cap. Lasts for three rounds. Interesting. Not bad for us. There we go. We got fated. We got fated, guys. That is just lovely, isn't it? It is. It really is, guys. I guess she gets death plate as well. It's a little bit awkward. Give it a buck. I think I'll connect these two. Resistances plus uh, more health on this girl. Seems fine to me. Okay, not too bad. Ah, this guy's a two-star. Can we win? We will see. I think it's fine, right? Like, Yorick is not that good of a unit. Especially without the carry augment. Yeah, peanuts. Peanuts, guys. Are we selling? Kindred pair to make ten. Oh, if we don't make ten here, isn't it doomed? I guess we just don't make ten. I want to sell Kindred Pair. Oh, Spatulas. That is not good for me because I'm last pick. That is certainly not good for me. I don't think we'll get one. You smell me? We did not get one, guys. What else do we want then? I guess it's just a Sunfire, bro. As much as I don't like that item, because uh, Morello is just way better. Although they didn't nerf Morello. They didn't nerf Morello with the new patch. So maybe it's okay. We like those. The, greatest uh, the Bard is trash. He would be really nice with these items. But he is just trash. It's fated better. I would have Trickshot as well, but I have no Mythic and Bark of Nerf. Yeah. Nice try, buddy. Let's not be silly. Death is not always a release. Let's not be silly here. Sunfire on this guy. Sunfire on... Maybe the Thresh. Okay. Now what, guys? Are we cooking? He's level 4. 
I think we're cooking. Let's hold the Volley Bear. Volley Bear is also one of those very strong units right now. Yuni, Volley Bear. And of course, still Aphelios, guys. The patch barely did anything. Only Bard is basically out of the game. <laughs> that is what the new patch did. Do not play Bard anymore. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking really good. I win this fight, I sell this girl, I'm back. I could level here. You think it's worth leveling? This guy also playing Yone. Uh, I think I'm fine against this guy. He has no Omni Vamp on Yone. Oh. I think I'm fine. No blue buff. Um, I mean, I have some two stars. Should be fine. Pray I'm fine. I think I'm fine. His frontline is trash. Good start so far, guys. As always, Fated still one of the best early games in the game. For sure. The, the Korma did kill my kill, kill my kindred there. I was a little bit crazy. Didn't expect it to get one shot, but it did, I believe. Okay, that is that is sure crazy, guys. That is sure crazy, my dudes. That is sure crazy, guys. There we go. We have an Aphelios. We're looking good now. Easy peasy, guys. Easy freaking peasy, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> it is, guys. Let me tell you. It is. Now, we can think about re-rolling because there's a lot of re-rollers this lobby. We can also just think about pushing level 9. We have a full win streak. Infinity Edge here, please. Wow! Wow! Deserved, guys, you feel me? That is simply well deserved. So we have two options. Either we reroll this Aphelios, as always, guys, a very broken unit, or we go level 9. We go level mother freaking nine. Um, and we play around the uh, Irelia. Also very viable, of course. If we can, if we can. It, it, all, it all depends on how many Aphelioses we get over the next couple rounds until wolves. And how much health I lose in this stage. If I have a full win streak, I'm going level nine for sure. If I, uh, it also depends on how many other enemies are going to go level nine. How many people are maybe contesting my Irelia? Because level 9, it is very hard to find 3 Irelias. Unless you're fully uncontested. It also depends on how many other enemies have maybe some legendaries, you know? Maybe someone finds some Moodiers at level 8, or uh, maybe some Lissandras. Maybe someone plays Lissandra on level 8. And then uh, they basically take a unit that I don't need, right? Out of the 5 costs, and that makes it a higher chance for me to hit. Twin Terreur. Definitely not this. Accomplice is good. I don't want to delete my items. This is not that good because I'm getting uh, too many items. Twin Terror is definitely not good here. Accomplice is great. Accomplice is great, guys. Absolutely amazing. Shall we? Choose my friends. Accomplice. Who gets it though? Can I check the items like this? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can see. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I gotta do something like this, right? I think I gotta give it to everyone. Alright, oh, accomplice is good. Seriously. The Orn is great. It's just a little bit too expensive. Also, I just realized I can easily play Exalt with this game. With Irelia Orn. And then something random, doesn't even matter, Garen. Oh, frick, okay, I'm buying her. I'm keeping everything. I'm gonna sacrifice one money, uh, one gold of interest rate, just to keep everything. I think it's worth. Or just treasure armory that can be rerolled, okay? This can be Radiant. This can be Radiant, guys. It is Radiant. An even shroud is not needed, though. Mm. 
Is Radiant Ginsu's even good on Irelia? Is it overkill? I think it, I think it's too good right now. I have to take it. That's potential. I think it's too good right now. I gotta take it, right? Let's be real. I don't think I'm going edge of night, am I? The thing is, I have no one to edge of night. I mean, I'm winning this fight anyway. You got a raiding QSS. You got a raiding QSS. Oh no. I'm gonna hold all the units. This guy wins the game if he gets uh He, he wins the game, he wins the game. If he gets a uh, unit 3, he wins the game. I'm gonna hold every single unit. Oh, it's gonna be a rough one. What am I grabbing here, man? What am I grabbing here? Oh, there's something crazy. I don't think I'm getting that, though. Yeah, the Syndra is gone. <clears throat> okay, I'm pretty sure I have to go Edge of Night, right? I think it's okay though, honestly. I think it's okay. Okay, I like this accomplice augment, it's really good. Ah, do I, can I really hold this Yone? I feel like I have to, bro. Like, don't they just win the game? Like, look, man. Like, how does he lose? If he has Yone 3, I think Yone 2 wins the game with these items. Okay, but honestly, Yone is so contested. They're all contesting each other. Nah, I'll hold the Yone. It griefs them so hard. I'll actually hold the Yone. I think I lose this fight, bro. Oh, nice. Ooh, one star Yone, guys. <laughs> this game is not very good, is it? I have a 5 Fated, by the way. I could go 5 Fated here, which I probably should. It's very OP. Mm, I don't think I'm re-rolling uh, Aphelios because I have like no Aphelios. I mean, now I have some. Thing is, they're all contesting the guy, so I can easily hit 3-star Aphelios with Radiant Ginsu's. I don't know. It seems kind of good, but I don't know, man. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Uh, pff, what are we supposed to do, man? Double Radiant. So many people have double Radiant items. This guy's also playing Fated. He's playing, um, interesting. There's not a lot of people playing Aphelios, so... Like, only the Fated guy will have a 2-star Aphelios, so this might be Aphelios, though. No, he's Senna reroll. He's Senna reroll. The thing is, with this full win streak, do I really want to play a reroll comp? The problem is I should because they're all contesting 3 cost reroll and if I just go level 9 now they're all gonna spike right now I'm gonna lose a lot of health I'm gonna lose so much health I think I should just roll for a 2 star Aphelios and then just go 9 Oh, but now I kinda want a 3 star because I almost have the 3 star dude as well now I kinda want a 3 star stuff like, I, I'm, 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 I have so many Threshes, right? It's a hard decision, man. And I'm not sure how strong Radiant Ginsu's I, uh, really, I really is, but it should be good, right? Because regular Ginsu's is good on I really am. Regular Ginsu's is great. Good job, everyone. Regular Ginsu's is great. I have some like, amazing Thresh items as well, man. I feel like I should roll for Aphelios too, right? I have to play Fated then, man. I, I have to play Fated now, right? Or Fated. Like, bro, I, I have a set. Like, what, what can I do, man? <laughs> what can I do, guys? 
What can I freaking do? I have to play Faithed, right? Uh, this guy's Radiant Edge of Night. I don't think we're beating him, right? He has a 2-star, I have a 1-star Aphelios. But look at my front line. My front line is good. My Aphelios is fully maxed out on attack speed. Oh, but he's just gonna die here. Ah, uh, Yone is beyond broken right now, guys. Play Yone every game. Enjoy your free wins. But yeah, Aphelios is uncontested, man. Like, low-key, we can do it. This was a very unlucky fight. I lost my win streak. I'm pretty sure I have to go Apelios 3 now. I, I have the guy, right? At least roll for Apelios 2 here. Best friends is good. Martyr. Little buddies is also good though. Not really though. I, I think it's just Apelios 3 now, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just a Filios 3. I think I have enough combat power. I have an early set. I don't know, it just seems good, right? Yeah, it just seems good, bro. I can get 7 Fated here, I have an early set, I don't know bro. It just seems stupid not to play Aphelios, right? I'm going too much against the grain if I don't play Aphelios here. I think it's too good, and the Radiant Ginsus is way better on Aphelios than on, um, I really am. Like, Radiant Ginsus is beyond insane on Aphelios, right? Like, look at him, man. Twin Terror Lux is so freaking stupid, man. Ashka buffed as well. It's just this, bro. I almost have 3-star Thresh. It's pretty much uncontested. Okay, but now now I think I'm just pushing levels, right? Because I don't have a Filios 3. Like, I only have two Aphelioses. I have these du this duplicator. But I can get the Filios 3 later at level 9. I think now I'm just pushing level. 84 health, 3 star uh, Thresh, fully itemized. The thing is, it doesn't matter if the Thresh is fully itemized. The Yone just bypasses him. Like, look, my Filios is just dead here. He's so, so stupidly imbalanced, man. If they don't hotfix this... I think they will lose half their player base. In, in like a week. Four people play Yone every game, guys. And it works. It works for them. Two-star Yone can win the game. Uh, if they don't hotfix this, they will lose half their player base. It's so stupid. <laughs> Support item for each cha to each cha champion. Someone gets Banshees on Yone. It's pretty stupid, man. Like, what do I do here? Just... I don't need Zeke's. I think I just want Frontline, right? I think I just want this. I don't think I want Gem. Oh, this guy got this. Do I just put this on Yasuo? I guess, right? I have too many support items, man. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to level here. Okay. Yeah, I, I have to hold Yone, right? I have to hold Yone the entire game. No one of them is allowed to hit Yone 3. If they hit Yone 3, I lose the game guaranteed. I think it's gonna be sword item on the guy, but I'm gonna wait. I'm not sure what I'll drop from the Raptors. But it's probably sword item on the set. Yone is just gonna kill my Aphelios eventually. But uh, 2 star Yone cannot beat 3 star Aphelios, so it should be fine. 
Nice, we beat the two-star Yone here. It's because, like, if they have double Radiant item, like a lot of these guys have in this lobby, it's just so ridiculous, right? It's just even more ridiculous. Like, Radiant items are so good on melee carries. I want to keep a uh, Dryad. The Ari is better, but I want to keep Dryad for now. Is anyone holding Aphelioses? No, but... This guy just finds I really on level 8. But Umbral is really good. The thing is, this, this, this girl is just gonna kill me, right? Okay, this guy's beatable. He's very strong too, though. This is a very uh, strong lobby, right? Because everyone has a Radiant item, right? Everyone has a freaking Radiant item. At least one. A lot of them have two. From the Radiant Augment. So it's a very strong lobby in general, right? And then there's like a random support item as well. That we got from the encounter. So it's gonna be a really, really crazy lobby, bro. Like that. The comps will be so strong here, man. I'm just gonna keep this Yone the entire game, bro. The entire freaking game I'll keep this Yone. I'm not even kidding. Um. Okay, I mean, we're still 73 health though. We're doing really well. We're doing really well. We'll just go level 9. We don't have any Aphelioses, so... It's kind of hard. Like, 3 Aphelioses only. It's kind of hard to 3-star it. I'm not rolling on 8. I'm going level 9, I can play um, 7 Fated, Sniper, Infinity Edge on the, on the dude is good. I'll buy the cane as well, I'll hold the cane as well, because they need a cane for their god. Nice, uh, Helios. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just Infinity Edge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Infinity Edge, bro. I could go with Sterox, though. Actually, Sterox is probably better, right? Because he has this bonus attack damage. And then the Sterox gives him even more percentage. This guy has this. I, I missed the shield on this guy, but it's... Uh, actually, I'll do this. I have so many support items, it's kind of goofy. Random crit glove. Just gonna Caitlyn. We're gonna hold Volley Bear as well. Ay ay ay, this is this is the patch is worse than the last patch guys. I cannot believe it man. I cannot believe it bro. This guy is so strong, but my, my set is beating him up. Okay, I have Omnivamp, remember we have 30% Omnivamp on Aphelios. They didn't nerf the set Omnivamp guys. So um the set still gives 15% Omnivamp as his fated bonus. Which of course gets doubled and tripled, right? That, of course, gets doubled and tripled, so, um... Or five and seven fated, respectively, right? So this is... That's why, having an early set, you still play this. They nerfed the armor and magic resistance of this guy, though, by two. From 20 to 18. So that's a good step, but... Fated is still beyond broken. I think a, a B patch is very needed. The game is awful in this state. Did someone hit Yone 3? No way. Wait, did someone actually hit Yone 3? I think someone hit Yone 3. No, right? No, I'm, I must be seeing things. There's no way someone hits Yone 3. Uh, we, we lose against the Twin Terror Lux thing. This is, very, this is a very strong comp right now as well. Oh, this is a particularly annoying comp though. I think this will be the most hated comp this set if they leave this in this state. It's not even particularly OP, it's just it targets your cornered unit. But not only that, it also stuns them, and that's the problem. Like, having a high damage dealing mage is fine, but a high damage dealing mage with a stun is always, uh, is always like the most hated unit in the game. That is always not well received by anybody. So that is the problem, we'll see. Alright, no one has 3-star Yone. <laughs> I have the same amount of Yones as some of these guys. So next turn we just level, right? We just level to 9. We roll for a Syndra, she's uncontested, we play 7 Fated. Kick the, kick the freaking Yorick. 
the Yorick plays 7 Fated with Sniper, with Behemoth, Orn. Great, yeah, the classic comp. 7 Fated is gonna give me a huge boost. Holy frick, this Diana is insane. This guy pivoted from Yone into Diana reroll, which is very smart. Really smart. There's a Warden emblem, which isn't even that bad. What else is there? Another Edge of Night is not needed. Dryad emblem is not needed. I have heal reduction. Uh, I hope I can get this, though, because I feel like the items are so bad that I might not get it. Like, look, I'm, I don't think I'm getting it. Ah, so close. Couldn't get it. I guess I have to go Morello. Jesus Christ, bro. The items are so bad. Okay, that isn't too bad, I guess. I think with this frontline we're supposed to go damage. And then who gets this? And then this just goes on Syndra because I already have heal reduction anyway and she's not AoE. So, uh, usually you don't want this on Syndra, but since I have heal reduction already, I'll just give her it for the ability power that she can use. He's level 9 as well. What is the next encounter? The best encounter for me would be like double small duplicated or something. The Nico encounter. What is it? Yorick reduces the cost to reroll your shop. That's really good. That's really freaking good, man. I think I'm gonna roll a little bit. Oh, that's insane. I think I'll give AP to the backline, right? Uh, actually, I just want him to be here. I just want him to be there. This is so awkward, bro. This positioning is so awkward. But it's fine, right? I mean, I guess I'm buying this, I'm selling this, I can sell this. Alright, two more, two more Aphelios, I'm three star, I should easily get a top two. I'm gonna roll down to zero after Elder Dragon. Uh, I'm on the right side against this Lux, but this Lux is gonna stun me. He has Omnivamp though. But this, guy, this girl has heal reduction. Hopefully this guy can beat her up. Look how much damage the secondary Lux does, bro. So silly, man. And the stun, bro, the stun. Come on, set. You can do it. No, you can't do it. <clears throat> Guys, I am not happy with this patch, man. It's just pure frustration. They introduced very frustrating comps. Oh, he crit! He crit, bro! 40 health! Let's go. That's huge. We needed that win. We needed that win so much. We needed that win so much, man. Winter Lux is hilarious. Hilarious to play, very annoying to play against. I hope they will not do these uh, long-range stun mages anymore. I think this is stupid. Because last time they, they released a Lux like this, it was the same thing, just without the stun. It was the exact same thing, similar damage, just without the stun. Not sure why they thought it's fine to make the same exact unit, two cost as well, but with a stun. Damage seems, at this point, after the buff, very similar. Can I really go for 3 star Orn? I mean, it's not contested. Ready for this? I mean, it's not contested. I mean, I have a decent amount of magic damage as well, to be honest. 
I mean, it's not contested, but like, bro, am I really gonna hit? I've never hit a three star four cost in this, in ranked in this set yet. Because of the back size is being so small, right? Can I sell the Yones now? I think, uh, I think they are not going for Yone 3, right? Wait, did it just expire? Oh, it just expired, okay. Are they not going for Yone 3? Yeah, they're not. Bro, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to sell the dude, but I can still sell him later. The chalice is fine there. The chalice is fine there. How much attack damage did this guy farm? 143% bro. 143% attack damage farm. Look how much damage he does. Heals so much as well with the 45% omni vamp. One more item on him and I think the two star Yone can't beat me anymore. But right now he can still easily beat me. Items are just too good on this Yone yeah. <laughs> look, look how broken, look. Do you see that, guys? Do you see how broken it is? <laughs> it's a two-star! Do you see how broken it is? Please hotfix this, man. I mean, I don't want to get third. Okay. Bless me. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, we're probably second, right? Okay. You should never be targeted by the Luxus. If you're only against the Lux player, you can reposition around it, right? He's in the middle now. They always focus the furthest units away from them. That's how Lux works, right? So now, hopefully, he's not going to get targeted. But this guy has a three-star Amumu, which is super tanky. I'm still getting focused. By this one at least. But I have lifesteal, I have lifesteal. Just ult, just ult bro. Lifesteal back up, you're not gonna get one shot. Nice, good job. Get out of here, Lux player. I mean, I'm, an, I'm a Yone player, uh, a Filios player. Like, what can I say, guys? <laughs> what can I say? Oh. An Umbral Emblem? He doesn't even want it. Bro, I feel like the Deathblade is so bad, right? Because he has so much attack damage already. But I went for a Crown Guard on Yasuo. I don't know if that's much better, you guys. I don't know if that's much better, you guys. <laughs> I really don't know about that one. Oh, man. Okay, I need to put him here, right? I lose some uh, value on set, but it's fine, right? I'm gonna put all, the, all of them to the side, so hopefully the Yone jumps there. He's on this side, he's gonna jump to a lot of them first, and then... My Philos will be like the last unit he jumps to. We need to win two fights though, right? We need to win two fights, bro, it's kinda hard. He has a very strong 2-star uh, Irelia. Ah, nice. But 3-star Aphelios is 3-star Aphelios, right? It's not a one-shot yet, though. Alright, last fight, come on, please, please, please be the last fight. Is he rolling for anything? I'll fight two, I guess. I got this again. Oh, I can do this. This is insane attack speed. This is actually insane attack speed, no? It's actually insane attack speed. I mean, he's gonna reposition though, right? He's not that st stupid. He is a Yone player though, I don't know. <laughs> and he's probably gonna reposition, but low-key I can out, out spell vamp. I have armor as well. I'm getting resistances on the dude. I'm, go I'm gonna move her away though. Okay. Because this this way there. Oh no, he just left it in the middle. <laughs> I think he's just happy, bro. I think he's happy getting a second place with a two star Yone. Of course, he has a two star Irelia. Really, uh, he he was the guy going level nine. That's smart, right? If you're contested, you go level nine. Let's go, please. Come on, win. Let's go, guys. Huge. I think we played this game very well. Because I took this, I got my 3-star Thresh, and then I kept going, right? I kept leveling. Lots of difficult decisions, I think. Not, not a super easy game to play, I think. And uh, we held the Yones too freaking... Um, yeah. 
to freaking grief them. Uh, the best player, I think, was low-key this guy, though, no? Because he pivoted away from Yone into Diana. She got buffed as well, this patch. But um, it just didn't work out. He couldn't even hit the 3-star Diana, which is just cringe, right? He just got unlucky. We take those, guys. Subscribe, ring Haitian bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video. Indeed, algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time. Peace.